after a complete of events about uh, uh, sliding filament theory by the Hansen and Huxley. Huge Hansen and uh, Huxley and the scientists, both the scientists were explained by the theory is goes to sliding filament theory. What are the movements, what are the, the size, how the decrease of the muscle fiber you must be see here. This is a normal uh, muscle fiber is goes to A zone, I zone, A zone, I zone that is goes to alternate bands will be there. A zone we consisting of M line, there is a have a I zone we consisting of a Z line will be there. Two successive Z lines we consisting of sarcomere. So this is the L elaborated the two successive lines of Z zone. What happens when we muscle contraction means sarcoplasm reticulum releases to the calcium ions. Calcium ions to and ATP, ATP both are combined to formation of a cross bridges to the myosin heads. Myosin heads will be formation to the myosin head formation to the such type of actin filaments. What happens to formation of a contraction to get together to size will be reduces. In this movement, which zone is increase the size and which zone is a decrease the size is goes to basically H zone they should not be visible. H zone is almost dull, so minimize the size, sometimes it's not appears in the H zone. But A zone they should not change. A zone, how much of A zone will be there? A zone be consisting of both uh, an actin and uh, myosin filaments. What are there? This is similarly his presence into the same type of A zone we should not change. H zone is goes to reduce in size, sometimes it's disappear. This is a uh, Conformational changes will be continuous by the formation of muscle contractions. Now we are going to discuss about Cori cycle. Cori cycle. Cori cycle means basically muscle is continuously shown by such type of muscle movement and is, a, it is performed by the aerobic respiration in the presence of oxygen. But scarcity of oxygen, it is performed by the anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration it is finally formation of lactic acid finally formation of lactic acid in the way the lactic acid stores into the muscles the muscles get fatic okay sometimes muscle is goes to infunctional this muscle get fatic will be there these uh, lactic acids for example this is a uh, muscle fiber muscle fiber is a performation to the uh, continuous Formation, the formation of lactic acid to the lactic acid we help to the through the circulatory system through the circulatory system it is reached to the liver this is about liver okay the circulatory system the lactic acid lactic acid is converted to the pyruvate 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 the process goes to gluconeogenesis process Gluconeogenesis process is formation of a glucose. The glucose again through the circulatory system, again through the circulatory system, it reaches to the muscle. Muscle, this muscle glucose. Muscle glucose again the formation of muscle glucose again it will show the movement will be start means contraction muscle contraction will be started. These type of uh, cyclical events we consider as a Cori cycle. So Cori, Cori the scientist is explained by the, this type of cycle. This is uh, a transformation of uh, uh, glucose. It is uh, converted to the lactic acid by the movement is goes to anaerobic uh, respiration of the muscle. It is continuous to show the movement and finally formation of lactic acid. To, to the lactic acid, the circulatory system, it, uh, it reaches to the liver. In the liver lactic acid is converted to the pyruvate to pyruvate uh, undergoes to gluconeogenesis process and finally formation of glucose. The glucose is reached to the through the circulatory system, it reaches to the muscles. Muscles again the start to the movement will be there. This type of cycle we call as Cori cycle or uh, Cori Cori cycle will be there. This is about Cori cycle. Now that's the muscles. It is continuously showed is a fatigue, some uh, anorexia condition, anorexia condition also. It is shows the this type of movements will be there.